Hmm. We've known each other for seven years, um, right? I think. <laughs> oh, wait, actually longer than that. No, like, seven. Yeah, seven. Yeah, seven years. Seven, eight years. Seven, eight years. I feel like I'm always thinking of my friends when I make my artwork, so that's like very inherent. There are a few pieces where I have Ariana in there, um, but yeah, I guess all, all the time I'm always thinking about Ariana or just like friends in general and like trying to figure out like where to place them. <laughs> and it's not just the relationship, I think it's just all the relationships, so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I think uh, that allowed us to be really honest, like really naturally very honest, like how much and um, in preparation, because uh, we had lots of other things in tandem. Uh, we had other projects we were collaborating on um, in, in ways. Uh, so we were really malleable to uh, how we're going to put up the show, I think. Um, where I think intermingling became like we just really wanted to anchor, intermingle our work together. We just, you know, always are sending each other like sketches of what we're working on just because we like each other's work and we're like, oh, this looks great, or oh, I hate this. <laughs> it's like a very honest exchange, and I think we were just kind of allowing each other just to do whatever we wanted, but I also think um, we were going to find connections either way. Um, because we are so similar in many ways, but um, yeah, because we're, I think we both pretty make, we pretty much make like autobiographical work, yeah. so I think it was going, going to connect regardless. Our, uh, I think our strength for getting this show together was for other artists who are often like coming together at the end, we were, yeah, like you said, sending work back and forth to one another and um, not necessarily to like yeah, draw ties to the work um, preemptively, but more so to think about oh this is where like Ariana's work is leading, um, and this is what was this is how her work what works in the week because a sketch um, my sketches might have been evolving and I wasn't sharing things on I wasn't sharing things on social media like for a, for a little bit of time so it was um, much needed um, and constructive validation but also like this is how much I have so far um, and this is what we're thinking about with and switching what in and went out um, and then later when I got back to Milwaukee uh, it was great to just be in person to just like prioritize like oh these are what's these are what stands out um, and I needed that personally from the yeah. I feel like a lot of my work is titled after like songs or just things and I'm like indulging and it was a song by the Kate Lee 47 Washington set. And I literally texted Mary and I'm like, we should name our exhibitionists. <laughs> and I told her to listen to the song, but it's just, the song is about um, tending the black hair and like just the steps that you have to take to like take care of your hair. And I was thinking about it in terms of like how we kind of document our lives, but also like there's this notion of like care and like exchange with all these people that we're including in our work. And, um, and it's, it's also just like a very important step um, when you have weave or when you have like a certain hairstyle as a black woman. So I just thought that was like a very important statement to just be like, oh yeah, like connecting with these people is like us. It's like a form of nourishment. So that was, I feel like that was where I came from about the title. And Ariana was kind of like, oh yeah, that sounds good. <laughs> and I was thinking of, well, I liked it when you said it. And I was thinking about the preparation um, that goes into I mean, nurturing yourself and taking care of yourself. And this work was made, I think, this work was really made for the show. Um, like, so I'm thinking of we're coming into our own city and like this, and it feels like the I don't know the most 
appropriate like, setting in a way. Like I felt like most comfortable kind of, ex I think, ex in exploring myself and getting myself set and ready and set to go for this exhibition while challenging challenge myself in, um, in the process of making this work. Uh, so it felt like, like a really important exclamation. exclamation. <laughs> The series being, um, I guess, completed slash all the moments were between uh, October and the end of November. So for me, there's just a very like exact timeline for this body of work. And there was like much to be, in a new setting, there was a lot to be excited and to be remorseful and be concerned about uh, and to laugh about, I think. So, um, and now like looking at the back and then working with them here was just like, you know, it is like they're, I want to go back into certain moments, even, even, the, even the scary, not scary, they weren't, they weren't scary, um, even, the, even the stressful and um, uneasy like, sections of the timeline, I guess, when I was in it. Yeah, I guess like I was like challenged to make yes, a certain, I guess, to work in a certain time. So I think naturally it's gonna just be yeah, a certain ups and downs. Yeah, downs. yeah. I mean, we started it in the height of the coronavirus <laughs> epidemic, <laughs> so the work was kind of fluctuating. Like um, I had so many ideas that I had to like, edit out, but that's just like a part of the process. The new ones that came, of course. Yeah, yeah. Like, mm -hmm. And um, I would I would say like a lot of it is I'm like looking around, <laughs> but um, I would say like a lot of it, a lot of the work I put in the show has to be has to like come from a dark place in order to be celebratory. At least for me, like um, I know I had trouble just dealing with all of this stuff. <laughs> And just like having to make artwork during that is very difficult, but also like um, I can look at all these pieces and it's very telling about like how I was feeling at the moment and like what was happening, who I, who I was thinking about and like what kind of like, um, I guess landscape, fantasy landscape I wanted to create. Um, so I think I was missing a lot of people too, so I think it kind of opened up different models for me to use, so that was very exciting. Um, and not only using Ariana and my, our other friend Cecilia, but like other close friends that I've had over the years. And I was able to paint my siblings, so that was, that was fun, I've always wanted to do that, so yeah. We both uh, digested. people we wanted to be physically closer to us. Um, also people who were close to us, we like manifested that. I think that's, I think that's what our work's kind of discussing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think what's interesting about what we were going through is we also had like so many other exhibitions and projects going through the same time, so regardless, um, it was like, you know, I mean like every, like, like every, like every black person had to keep going um, as, but it, yeah, but it absolutely changed how I think I share my. It just it did change how I shared myself and what I want to share, um, and it yeah it just spoke out to like well if I have to do if I got to make exactly what I want to make um, I should do that for a while and not and, and just not have anyone see. What the process the process is like that's that's very special, and it doesn't have. I don't want it to always sometimes be out there um, as if it was I don't know, expected or as if like it were taken for granted. And that's um, that's one thing I just specifically remember. Um, kind of made me want to go to North Carolina to spend time with mom. So I was like, I don't, I really don't want to be here anymore, and I don't have to, and I have resources to take me somewhere else and be somewhere with somebody who I don't, who doesn't have, that there's no finite time with your parents, especially when, they're, when they are black and 
that that has changed like how I'm like, oh, this is how my, my life I think is going to set for the future. Like how much time I'm going to go back. I'm really, like I'm an adult now, <laughs> I guess. And I have to, in order to make the work I want to continue making, I have to have the breadth of work. So I want to touch on different parts of my life, not just like I guess my peers. Um, I need to devote months to different places. Um, because, because I have that privilege too, so I, I have to. Um, I think it definitely stopped me from realizing that social justice work and like making work are, it's the same thing. And it doesn't, it's okay if I'm not drawing, like but as long as I'm doing things that um, feel good and are dedicated to this, the issues that I, you know, are that I'm passionate about. Um, so that was very important to me. It was, I mean, obviously very traumatic, and like, I feel like, you know, black people are always in mourning. Like, it's not something that you can just pick up and stop. <laughs> um, but I feel, I felt very, um, a little stifled. I think. I don't think I was making as much during that time because I was very focused on like protesting and doing all this other stuff. Um, because I didn't realize it was important to me. I'm like, oh yeah, like I'm gonna go out and protest because it's what I have to do, or like I have to figure out how to get funds from this place to this place. And I was just trying to figure out more ways to insert myself as an artist um, and like learning how to activate my agency and like knowing that. I can't solve everything, but I can try <laughs> to solve some things or try to help out in some way. Um, so I think it was, you know, it's terrible, but it's also like, I think I have, I think I understand my agency a lot more now and like my capability as an artist. Um, yeah, I think it was good, but I was also like, yeah, but terrifying. <laughs> so. In, in part for me, like, I think it's prioritized for me that I need, and this, I guess it, this is very siloed to say, like, because we're in a gallery, but I'm thinking, like, I need to, like, visit, I need to make, I've been making more appointments places, we're just doing, like, individual, like, because the openings are extinct, um, in the sense that we, that we, both they were. But, that doesn't mean you can't see the work, and, and also, like, in the, in the, in a very ominous, in a way that you can see see it by yourself. Um, that has been something I've been trying, I've been prioritizing more and more to see, to see works and just to see it for the sake of it. And then I don't, I can't, keep, I mean, we both can't control what other people, I, I try to think about what, how things are going to be solved, but I, I, I we probably both think about like our daily practice, which is like, <laughs> you see something, you see, you know someone in the city, you share it, maybe share them, and then like, that's a way, that's a way, that's a, that's a, that's a, that, um, instigates connections and people to see something that they didn't see before. Um, so that makes me, makes me more, yeah, just like more aware of my scheduling. And that's not bad, I think, because that, that's one small way that I think that helps, reminds me what I actually came to the, the gallery for <laughs> instead of the party setting, to be honest. Um, it's forced me to do a lot of interactions that I'm not 100% comfortable with. Like, I don't like being on camera. I don't like that at all. <laughs> um, I'm always fighting Ariana for, like, not taking pictures of me. I just... But she does it anyway, so it's okay. Um, wait, did I take too many? Or, or I just, I feel like sometimes you try to take pictures of me and I'm like, no, oh, yeah, I, I don't want that. <laughs> like, no, I don't want that. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I'm having so much fun. I know, you're having fun, but I'm not having fun. <laughs> so, it's worth me to kind of like, I don't know, just, that's not really important. It doesn't really matter. Um, especially because I've been teaching, and that's been, that's been weird, because I want to like, I want to hold those kids' hands, you know? Like, I just miss that interaction with a lot of the youth that I get to work with. 
Um, and so it kind of forces me to be more creative with how to teach, which is, um, it's good though. I think I'm learning a lot and like, oh, like I'm learning how to just deal with certain barriers and how to reach even kids that might not have the best place to be, you know, learning online. Um, so that's really interesting. And I think a lot of, I think I'm seeing a lot of the students' issues that I wouldn't otherwise see directly in the classroom. Um, which is, you know, I think that's actually great. Um, I think I can understand them a lot more that way. So it's made teaching really interesting. Um, I do miss little hugs, but I also think, um, yeah, it's just forced me to be more creative and like, like Ariana said, like I have to just, <laughs> if I want to go somewhere, I got to make an appointment. That's just like what you do, so. You probably got someone you got to call today that you've been called in a while. <laughs> <laughs> so far. 